March 14th. The first day of spring is less than a week away, but there is still a blanket of snow over Edmonton. On the ice inside Rogers Arena, the Sharks are preparing for their final swing across Western Canada. I think that was definitely something marked on our schedule, that, uh, that trip through Canada. Us against Edmonton since playoffs last year, kind of a bit of a rivalry game. And I think at the time we were either maybe two or three points above Calgary, who was obviously right there. Um, LA Anaheim have always been tight with us the whole season long, so... We knew coming into the, this trip that uh, we had to go on a run here to, you know, kind of separate ourselves from the other team. Definitely, uh, definitely a really important, important one. Six huge points. Winning doesn't just happen when we step onto the ice. It's the hours of training visualizing and obsessing. I'm awake for 16 hours a day and every minute I'm connected, whether it's with my team, my music, my family, or my zone. It's the millions of little preparations leading up to the game. So when I do step onto the ice, I'm ready to win. Winning has everything to do with being prepared, clearing my mind, focusing, perfecting, because that's how I give everything I have to the game. I am a jokester, I am carefree, but I'm not careless when I want to win. When the puck dropped in Edmonton, both teams come out firing. Yeah, I think at the start of that trip, you know, we go into Edmonton and kind of one of those dangerous games where you know, you've got a team that can score goals, but they're out of the playoffs, so you know they're going to play. And it's just one of those games you can't really fall into a trap. After exchanging goals over the final period of play, the game goes to overtime. Less than 48 hours later, the Sharks are in Calgary and face a Flames team desperately fighting for a playoff spot. That, that Calgary game was, was a big game. We needed someone to step up and, and Kaner had a, a big night that night. I've been in that situation quite a bit where I've had two goals early in the game and eight and a half years I'd played uh, until then, you know, never being able to get that third one. And I remember seeing Tierns uh, go behind the net and just kind of yelling for the puck and he found me and I was able to get a shot off quickly and then follow it up on the rebound and score. And it was a big relief and it was a really important game. And I think that was, that was kind of the mindset why I kept going just because the game was on the line. On the back of Kane's four goals, the Sharks beat the Flames and traveled to Vancouver to play the Canucks the following night. Those are definitely how winning streaks happen and you just take it game by game and I think that trip kind of set this group and has given them confidence that, you know, this is a group that can make some noise and, and we're excited about. Back home in San Jose, the Sharks are feeling loose and looking to add to their win streak. A new locker room nickname has even become a source of motivation for the team. Ruru, yeah, Ruru, Dogger, the dog. So with this team, you get one nickname, it turns into into 15, but uh, he's he's the dog. No real rhyme or reason to it, you know, he gets barking, gets the boys going. I think it's something we were kind of rallying around there in that kind of eight game win streak and I've continued to and we have, we have a lot of fun. We got a great group for that. On the ice, the Sharks take care of business versus the Devils, beating them 6-2. Forty-eight hours later, the Sharks face off against the Golden Knights. Be good here, boys. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, boys.
ending a seven game win streak, the boys hit the road for their final trip of the season. Well, I think going into that trip, we knew that was gonna be a, a real tough trip on the schedule. Just the timing of it, uh, the buildings you were going into, the quality of the teams, and, and, and at the end of a tough, really emotional month of hockey for us, where we started and, and where we were trying to get to. After winning their eighth straight, the Sharks traveled to St. Louis to face a desperate Blues team the following night. St. Louis wins in overtime, but the Sharks get a very important point. You know, we took care of business in terms of picking up points and, and solidifying ourselves in the playoffs, and it was a real tight race. And, and then we go on that run and, and separate ourselves. The final two games of the road trip are versus the top two teams in the Western Conference. When you go on a win streak, you win games you probably shouldn't win, and that's the same when you lose. You know, we lost in Nashville, probably deserved a better fate. Vegas as well, another tight game, so I thought we played pretty well on that road trip. We just didn't get uh, rewarded in the last two games. It was definitely a bit of a humbling trip for us too, seeing that the games are kind of ramped up a little bit more and, and playoff hockey is kind of alive and well going right now. You know, those road trips are, are important enough for us, you know, to uh, improve our game and you know, I think in playoffs you got to be able to beat anybody you know anywhere so uh, I think it's definitely a good lesson for us. The Sharks end the season with three games at home. These games dictate playoff seating and decide home ice. Anyone that follows this great sport knows this time of the year what it's all about. This is everything. Yeah, Every is. single thing you play for as a kid and growing up you're in the Stanley Cup playoffs right now. When the dust finally settles, matchups are determined, and the Sharks will face the Anaheim Ducks in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Every game we've played with them has been tight and close checking and hard hitting. And they're a pretty deep team. They got a lot of you know high end players. You understand you can't waste shifts. You, you can't you know take periods off. It's physical. It's heavy. It's hard. It's it's a man's game, as I like to say. And it's playoff hockey at the end of the day. They they got healthy. You know they were missing Getzlav and, and Kessler the whole you know a lot of the first half of the season. So that's a dangerous dangerous team. The series will start on the road in Anaheim. Time, a scenario the Sharks welcome. I think in any playoff series, when you can get into a hotel, you get everyone in that, that playoff mindset. Um, I think that's something that, that can be beneficial for sure. This group has always enjoyed that challenge and nothing's given to you. You know, if you get home ice, you don't win the series. And uh, I think that understanding will go a long way for us. This series could be so entertaining because of the depth that the San Jose Sharks bring. The last time they went to Stanley Cup Final, they had depth scoring. Mm. We saw Joel Ward making plays. You saw Don Skoy stepping up big, different guys that they had. We're seeing that now in the regular season. If that can translate in the postseason, look out. The Sharks' depth has helped them all season long, and they're eager for the playoffs to begin. I'm super excited uh, to finally get into the playoffs, get to the big dance, and uh, you know, my mindset is, is round one, winning four games as fast as we possibly can. You know, playing the right way, making those little details, sacrificing ourselves, blocking shots. We have speed, we, we are big, we're strong, we got guys that can finish, you know, we're a confident group. You know, everything's pretty black and white from what kind of details we're trying to accomplish to the patience that guys have. You know, just that kind of mindset going in has definitely provided this group with confidence. I feel we can play with anybody, but you know, there's 15 other teams out there in the playoffs that feel the same way. We're in that group, but you have to go out and, and prove that.